So to read the BMSs and batteries, you need to get yourself one of these USB to RS-485 connectors off Amazon. When you're wiring it up, the wiring diagram, I found that the A positive and the B minus need to be the other way around, as it didn't work when I had it wired up, as it said, with its diagram. This cable came in the battery boxes with the communication plug on already, so I've spliced into one of them to get the USB connector on. When you go online, download the Valence software, diagnostic software, you need to make sure your computer is running in .NET Type 2 version, the older version, as it won't run this software as it's an old version. And then when you have it downloaded, you need to run it in administrator. And this is it. So if you have a load of batteries series, daisy chain together, what you want to do is go to battery system info and scan. And it'll find the modules that you've got daisy chained together. So then we're plugged into number two and you need to be in the right comms port. We're in comms three and then start read. And on the battery info about this one battery, it will show you everything. It's all green. And then if you go to event log, the main thing is the cycle discharge. And this is at 40. And number one, had 44 as the charge discharge cycle that was the highest they were either at the start or the back of the pack and then you can pick another number that you've got daisy chain together and read that battery as well and this is slightly out to charge Thank you so much for watching guys.